I've always really enjoyed printmaking ever since um, university days back in, in the States and the residency seemed like a perfect opportunity to really immerse myself into it. So, Last 15 years I didn't have any access to presses or anything like that. This partnership with Graphic Studio Dublin and Fingal County Council Arts Office goes back to I think 2017. There is a natural link between a painter and a printer. We started in 2017 and so we offer two residencies a year now and we have two artists here at the moment which we have awarded these residencies. I think some people can suddenly discover in mid-career a new medium, lithography or screen printing or etching. So one of the ways around that is to develop partnerships with bodies who exude or who perform in a way that you think you'd like to be involved with and, and Graphic Studio Dublin is one. I was first introduced to printmaking when I was studying in Częstochowa University in Poland. I was so excited when I saw your application because I saw them, how well they would work as prints. She initially worked with images that she was used to doing and it enabled her to get into the process and to enjoy just learning the processes. I'm primarily a painter, an abstract painter. Um, my work is very concerned with shapes and colours and this was um, a bit of a series that I was working on recently of sort of imagined objects and then here's a piece where I was again just playing with forms and colours um, together. Normally when we make a print we quite often addition it but in this case she experimented a little bit even at the beginning but after that when the first print was done uh, she changed and tried to do something new with the work which is great to see. We looked at the work and uh, to try and decide what would be the best and we agreed that the screen print certainly suited what she was doing. Before the residency, I started thinking, uh, what can I do? What would be my inspiration? Maybe I can go back to nature and do some nature studies. These were my, my sketches. My final work is more abstract, and I was fascinated by some patterns. When I did start the residency, um, these are some examples from the first couple of days, building up some ideas, and then it led into Robert and I making this final print. Since I had two full weeks and I had a lot of time to explore, I wanted to see where else I could go with screen printing. After a few days of playing around with just shapes and layering and lines, I started thinking about a series of paintings I had done a few years ago that were based on maps. This is a map um, of Hoth actually where I live now. And then this is a map that I think we're gonna be working on a little bit today, finishing the final layer of, which is based on the area of the Bronx where I grew up. So I liked the idea of doing maps that actually had some personal resonance to me. I started focusing more on movement and I rejected natural references like figures of birds, which originally interests me. So I decided to eliminate figure kind of complete abstraction. So they they're move not, towards abstraction. Some yeah. of them still contain birds, some patterns that you can find on the water. I would take my frame yes. now and I would look maybe yeah. for some more exciting. Find the point. There's such movement and they look so expressive. But even when you were working on the plates, I found that everything is so precise. So we're just gonna print one of the prints that um, Anna made here. The print has three different plates and they can be made of different things. This is a copper plate as you can see and we also have two polycarbonate plates so every time you print a print you need to put the ink onto the plate and then you need to wipe the ink off the plate and it has to be the exact same each time this line here that kind of dances across the plate i drew them in the wax the original shape was started by sugar lift I painted it multiple times with the acid. The longer the acid is on the plate um, or on the aquatinted plate, the darker the marks are going to be. Uh, to make a screen print, we have a, a mesh that allows ink to flow through it. And then we apply a photographic emulsion to the screen and we place our drawing. This can be a drawn transparency or a printed transparency. And then when we expose this to UV light, the light hardens the areas which it reaches and then they can be washed out with water. And then when we apply the ink, draw the, the squeegee down, pushing the ink down through, it will only go down through the areas where the drawing has been. What I do initially is print on newsprint. I know that the ink is going to be flowing properly. And then we will move on to the final print. So let me flood the screen first. 
and then using much more force, print the ink onto the paper. So now we're ready to put in the print into the registration marks. And that's the final color on the actual print itself. You can see the lovely softness here of the split bite where it's like little differences, light coming into it, you know. One of the things I wanted to achieve in the residency was to actually start to become a little more independent and learn more of the process so that one day hopefully I could come in myself and, and do screen printing. So Robert was really great in taking the time to show me each step and have me practice, you know, so that I could build my skill set. I think this relationship between ourselves and uh, Graphic Studio Dublin is just one that I'm really proud of, um, one that, that has benefited us hugely. It's something that I really value and which will continue.